Hey everybody, Assistant Pastor Chris here. I'm here with uh, Lead Pastor Sean Towns. We're First Alliance Church Raleigh, and well, we've been challenged to the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge by our youth. These guys. Woo! And they're uh, pretty excited because we're going to take a bath tonight. Uh, but before we get started, we have a couple things that we want everybody to know about. Pastor Sean? Listen, it is important that if we're going to be able to participate with ALS and those kind of things, that we do it the right way. Uh, and so there are several things that we want to encourage you to do. We want you to give. We want you to, to make sure that you give into a place that is, is going to be responsible to, to utilize the funds in a way that is not uh, impacting fetuses. So, so we really want to, want to encourage that way. And in the, um, on the video, you're going to see uh, a couple of different places where you can go, where you can contribute uh, to that event. Okay? Yeah, we'll drop a couple things in the comments so you can uh, find some good places to get started. A couple other things, though, uh, as we get ready to do this, uh, at the end, we have an additional challenge that we're going to extend uh, because we believe that, that uh, not only should we give, uh, but we need to be pr in prayer, too. And, uh, and we believe that Jesus is our healer, and so we want to be in prayer about that. So, so tonight we're here to, uh, to honor those that have already fallen to this disease uh, and to remember some that, that uh, are currently sick. In fact, Chris has a friend that he wants us to pray, pray for tonight. No, absolutely. I have a friend that I went to college with, Amanda, and she's a great person. She is a firefighter, an EMT, and she's recently been stricken by this disease, a very advanced version of this disease and right on top of finding out that her and her husband were pregnant. So we have a lot to pray for this evening. So I'm gonna be donating at least to uh, directly to her foundation and I'll provide that link in the comments as well. But let's bow our heads in prayer and uh, lift her up for this evening. So bow with me everybody. Um, Father God, we just lift up Amanda to you this evening that she has fallen to this disease, ALS, and we just pray that you would touch your healing hand on her and just be with her during this difficult time and also give her and her husband strength during this time, but also protect the fetus that's growing inside of her and just bless that family and just bless with protection. And we just pray in your almighty son's name. Amen. And Lord Jesus, we thank you for the scientists and doctors that are, are involved in research and the like. And we pray that a solution will be found that, uh, and that would come through you. And that that would be discovered in a way that is not through embryonic uh, research, uh, stem cell research there. And we pray, Father, that you would help, uh, help the doctors, nurses, uh, scientists and the like to discover that cure uh, in your time and in your will, that direction. So, Lord, we, we commit all this into your hands. Thank you for the opportunity to partner in this way. Amen. Amen. All right. I guess the time has come. Here it is. <laughs> what everybody has been waiting for. Jacob. Jacob. Go, go, get it. Yes! All right. Chris, I think you've got a couple of challenges. All right. Well, absolutely. As we've done this challenge for this evening, we brought to the attention we want to bring forward this prayer challenge because we absolutely believe in Christ as our healer. So I'm calling out all my friends, all of my classmates, all my leadership, Southeastern Theological Seminary. Guess what, guys? It's your turn. Not only take the bath for the cause, but also let's raise up Jesus. Let's bring the kingdom here and pray for all those people that need our help. You're on notice. You're next. All right. Alan Springer, pastor oh. over in Garner, we, we want you to know that you've been called out. These guys here didn't do it last week, but I, we did it this week, so you've been called out. Mick Knoll, the district superintendent of the South yep. Atlantic District, and President John Stumbo, the president of the Christian Missionary Alliance, we're inviting you to participate as well, not only to contribute, not only to take a bath, but, but especially to commit this in prayer, asking God to bring healing to those who struggle. And if you're watching out there and you have a friend or a loved one that is struggling with ALS and you'd like prayer, contact us at office at facraleigh.org.